welcome back to the channel and you're thinking about buying a fifth wheel what options are there well there's a few options out there a little while ago we shot a video on an alpine we're going to take a look at its baby sister today this is a 322 rl avalanche by keystone rv the avalanche is the baby sister to the alpine loaded with features and quality little bit better price point for you. Now let's take a look around the outside. We'll start up first at our fifth wheel hitch. This has the road armor hitch that Keystone does like to use. There's a rubberized block in here that will take some of that chalking out of the traveling. Now this trail this fifth wheel has a six point hydraulic leveling system with is, which is a nice touch our water heater is a 12 gallon gas electric water heater we have already pre-wired the side cameras all you need to do is buy the side camera remove this section put your side camera on pair it to your vision system and you're good to go we have beautiful aluminum rims and as i mentioned it's a six point system so you have a hydraulic jack behind the rear wheels one in front of the rear of the wheels and then of course your fifth wheel landing gear at the front which are also hydraulic here we do have multiple slides three in total which really open up the living space as we come around back you'll notice the lights are leds they do have a hitch receiver on the back so that if you want to put bikes a carry rack etc it's there ladder to the roof nice big frameless windows on the majority of the unit and our backup camera prep now i say majority of the unit because on your slide outs they're typically not frameless because they're not the windows you want to put on a slide out so you'll notice here frameless windows on the walls a traditional window on the slide out overall now they use a high gel coat finish on the actual unit itself and this unit has two awnings one on the slide out to give you really good coverage of your camping area and then one on the front living area now we do have the big lippert solid step and really nice storage throughout now our front compartment also has prep for a generator that if you need that and you're traveling but let's go take a look inside. I'm just gonna show you here that this has their Polar Pack extended season protection. And this is better than what you get on most units, as well as the Solar Flex 200. The reason I say that is the underbelly is not only sealed, and not only are they pumping air into that underbelly, but when you look at the steps, you'll see the cold air returns. And that's gonna help cycle air from the living area into the underbelly and back out to give you a better climate control. Now, as soon as you come in, you're gonna notice a nice solid um, Corian countertop with lots of storage here. And above it, cabinets with lots of storage, a real nice backsplash itself. But the beauty is really when I turn around. Very large island. They've gone with the contrasting woods, residential style, darker island, lighter cabinetry. You'll see that in a lot of the uh, houses that you'll see renovation shows, etc. They're doing this. We have a large freestanding table with four chairs and a table extension big windows throughout the unit and look at the height in that slide out right nice tall slide out home theater seating and they are powered seating and they're Thomas Paine of course on the back we have our big sofa which is a hide a bed and then on each side we actually have wireless chargers so you can throw your phone down and charge as well as power plugs on both sides. As we go up 
and we look here, you'll notice some shelving in the center with cabinets on both sides. Now across from our home theater, we have a beautiful fireplace here that does throw heat. Our home theater with our speakers, nice big flat screen TV with additional storage above. As we move to the kitchen area, we have a residential microwave here with lots of storage, but it's not regular storage. There's a few little secrets. Let's open this up and you'll notice our cabinet doors open, but with a gentle push, we can actually slide the doors back. For me, this would be a great coffee station. Throw your Keurig in there, maybe your Nespresso or an espresso machine. Uh, there is, by the way, an, a plug and light in here and it is an inverted outlet. So remember when we came in, this coach has the Solar Flex 200. Right now we are running all the lights off of the solar panel. We're not plugged in. Then down below this, we have more deep storage, pots, pans, other items. But I really like this storage area, how it opens up and could be that coffee nook or, you know, whatever you prefer it to be. In the kitchen, solid Corian counters everywhere. We've got a nice big oven, drawers and storage on the side, real residential looking vent hood itself, nice backsplash. And then as we make our way to the fridge, we have an 18 cubic foot propane electric fridge here. So I'm gonna open up the fridge so you can get a really good look at it. You know, just massive fridge, 18 cubic feet. At one time, this type of fridge was reserved only for motorhomes. Now in our island, I don't know if I can do this one-handed because they are very heavy, these sink toppers. We have nice big stainless steel sink with a residential faucet and then four drawers and storage below and of course pull out for your garbage and your recycling. So just a nice little feature in there. Really open floor plan as we look up. We have our pendant lights over our island like you'd have in your house, but a ceiling fan as well to move air around on a day like today where it's nice, but it's not super hot. That fan would move just enough air to keep it nice and cool. Again, I love this front countertop, which is really nice, but let's make our way up to our bedroom and take a look what we have here. So as we walk in, you'll notice we have a king size bed on a slide out, really nicely finished off. There's even some night tables at the end of each slide. Up front, we have a nice deep wardrobe closet. And it's, as, you, as I mentioned, it's deep. So you can not only put your clothes in, but you could put other items in here. And part of that is because we have washer dryer prep up here. So we could put a combination in here if you need washer dryer along the way. Now we have a little stool here to sit down, be able to put your shoes on, your socks, etc. And there's even some storage down below big, big window with screen to let lots of natural light in. Nice little wardrobe here, a set of drawers. And then you have an entrance into your washroom from your bedroom. So of course we have a porcelain toilet, you know, nice vanity set up with your medicine cabinet, some linen storage, but really the key, and this is something that Avalanche and Alpine have always been known for, is their big showers. Full fiberglass surround, we've got the seat in the shower, it's nice and wide and tall, big massive skylight here, and then a powered vent as well. So they've done a nice job. And then, of course, again, outlets all throughout. There's a number of outlets that say inverted outlet because you can put an inverter on, whoops, sorry for closing the door that loud. You can put an inverter 
on this Solar Flex 200 and have power when you're not connected to the grid. Also, you'll notice in the slide out, this is a flush floor slide on this side and they've gotten rid of the carpeting. So there's no carpeting in this unit whatsoever. Alpine's always been known for building a really quality unit with high-end finishings, but still having a very nice price point. I hope you've enjoyed this video of the Alpine 322RL and its finishes. If you have any comments, feel free to post them below or questions. We'd love to answer them for you. Thank you again to Bella Vista RV for use of the unit. Uh, check out their website at www.bellavistarv.com. They have pricing if you're in the market on their website so you can see what units cost. If you like the video, click the like button. Please click the subscribe as we're trying to push past 10,000 subscribers. We'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks again, everyone. We'll see you soon. Make sure you live life to the fullest every day.